our way home from the Bruce Trail and, our and one of our favorite stores is finally open, Harvest Moon. Thank you, you guys, for opening your doors. Man, we were driving down the road, the, the windows were down, we could smell it. We had to pull in because we knew the vegan treats were waiting for us. Absolutely, so this place is a vegetarian and vegan um, option, so there's no meat and that is absolutely thumbs up in in our books and they got so many delicious treats from cookies brownies pastries and it's so great that these places are open more and more and you can see every year that the business keeps growing and growing and is this a trend guys i mean how can you say no to these options yeah i think this place has been open for like almost 10 almost like 10 years now and 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 they always have the vegan treats waiting for us and and, and not to mention that more restaurants are opening every day with more treats more vegan fast food and, w and one of the coolest parts about this place is that they actually grow a lot of their ingredients here i mean this is a beautiful place even their house is like a mud wall eco-friendly um place and it's really um doesn't take a lot of power and it's really working with nature and not against it and that's something we all got to get on board with and just stop fighting the easy way to do things the healthy way to live and i mean this is a chocolate chip cookie there's no need for an animal to die for me to have this cookie this is it's just delicious so I go to a lot of places with vegan treats, and what makes this place the, spe the most special, this place is called the Harvest Moon, by the way, what makes it so special, you can walk around while your food is getting heated up for you. And it's just wonderful, beautiful garden, lots of stuff, and it's spring right now, so they're doing a lot of planting and everything, everything is just, everything is just starting to come up. Yeah, and everything's so friendly here, like, you wouldn't want to go to a burger factory and go see how the burgers are made, but you but you definitely want to go to the garden and see how, and see how the vegetables are grown. And I think that really says something. I'm just, it's springtime, guys. I can feel myself like shaking off the cobwebs, just getting going, the body's getting going. I got a sunburn on my back right now because I was in the sun all day yesterday. Jay, check this out. Okay. Look at this huge garden. This is what I'm talking about using the land right here. I think these are onions right here. We got some, uh, I think those are basil plants over there. Got the herbs. Got some, got some Swiss chard. Look at all the spinach I got growing here, guys. Look at all the spinach over here. Look at this. Ooh. Just rows of fresh spinach. I see kale plants here. I mean, these guys are doing it right over here. Man. What else? Look at this lettuce. Look Toss this some of that in my smoothie. Lettuce, like. I think there's a tomato, tomato plants there. Just little baby tomatoes. Yeah, and it's places like this that, you know, they're showing how to how to eat more compassionately and they're really showing how to live a more economical and friendly life and this is not just a trend or a fad. This is going to catch on and it's growing and growing and I that's two cookies down. That was a d d delicious walk around the garden and just checking everything out. I want to wrap up this little segment by saying if you guys aren't vegan yet, I mean, I would, leave, I would just highly consider maybe trying some more vegan options and really exploring how how delicious this lifestyle is and just kind of maybe try it for a couple of weeks and see how your body feels, cuz. And also, take a look around for vegan shops. I mean, you can eat these treats and not feel guilty about it. And it feels so good knowing, you know, you can crush a brownie or four cookies and you're not gonna gain a lot of weight compared to eating those eating those cookies filled, filled with the milk and the dairy. And I don't want you guys to feel like it's all or nothing. You can start by slowly transitioning and exploring and you'll find that over time momentum and next thing you know, you're vegetarian. Next thing you know, you wanna go vegan three years later you've completely transformed your lives yeah and, 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 if, and if you go a couple years you're gonna find all your vegan hot spots you're gonna know your favorite vegan meals you're gonna know when the shops open up in the summer where to go well if you want some brownies you want some cookies you're gonna, you can always find what you need nowadays and not to mention that the vegan stores are opening them everywhere just gotta take a look and find them H we gotta get going I, I smell the smosis from over, oh, over, over here I'm getting hungry I'm gonna go demo all those brownies but first I want to get the carbs in us so we're gonna go check that out let's go Thank you. 